Uh, along the lines of sexuality and change for New Life on New Earth, I have one other topic to discuss that I've been putting off for a long time because I know that my notions about it are completely contrary to the common notion about it. Uh, and this has to do with the topic of labeling people as heterosexual or homosexual. Uh, uh, in my experience, quite frequently, um, these sorts of labels and these sorts of choices have to do with what you might call seminal circumstances in early childhood that propelled a child towards uh, sexual feelings with regard to one gender or the other. Uh, sometimes a child is born also that were that was uh, propelled towards one gender or the other by prior lifetime experiences. Since all of these uh, timelines are now merging, and since we have all been, both men and women, attracted to both women and men and same-sex situations in prior lifetimes, the, uh, the merge will result in what I would say no more labels of this nature. The whole issue of sexuality will change completely. And uh, the barriers to the orgasmic sexual experience with all beings everywhere will be eliminated. So that if we wish, as humankind, we could all experience the joy of creative orgasm at the same time. Um, and further, uh, sexual gender differences uh, will be uh, so changed on New Earth that it will be difficult to look back and know that we are the same, same peoples. This has to do not so much with form, differences of form, but with differences of newospheric energy, with the unified mind and the cosmic mind.